Hey there everybody, it's Helen. I'm the National Artist for Sephora Collection and I am joined by my model Yamini. And you can see that today she has two different styles <laughs> of makeup on. So we wanted to compare millennial makeup versus Gen Z makeup. So let's just dive in and show you how we got here. So for the first portion of my application, I'm going to use Sephora Collection's Best Skin Ever Foundation. And I'm using this foundation in 35N. This foundation is really versatile, so it can be full coverage, it can be medium, it can be light, depending on the amount of product that you have on your tool. For this, I feel like Millennials had a bit more coverage. It was really all about being picture perfect in front of that ring light. So it just gives you just a bit more of that medium to full coverage. And so I'm using a lot more product on this side of her face and I'm doing more of a tapping motion to build up the coverage. That looks really good, I think, for the millennial side. And I think Gen Z is just a bit more about showing your skin. So we're gonna use a different technique, but same product. I'm just using about like one pump. And I'm going to use more of like a, this sweeping motion. That gives you basically less product on the skin and lets your skin kind of shine through. So tell me about how you love to wear your makeup. Do you wear your foundation full or more sheer? I like to like day to day wear it more sheer, but if I'm going out or I'm taking pictures, then I'll do more full coverage. For sure. But day to day, I don't like it to be too heavy, you know, so. Yeah, I feel like yeah. this is kind of like right in between where people are like, oh, I've kind of like do both. Mm -hmm. So I do think that there are benefits to both looks. It just depends on kind of like how your overall makeup look totally. is going to be. It's fun to switch it up. For sure. All right, so going in to a little bit more complexion, we're going to cover concealer. This is the Lancome Tom Idol Ultra Wear All Over Full Coverage Concealer. And really, this is more about placement than anything else. So I'm just gonna take a little bit for both sides. Since it has such full coverage, you don't necessarily need a whole lot. But both generations do it, so it's slightly lighter than your natural skin tone. So. For millennials, we did this look, which is hilarious, but also great, and it looks amazing in photo, so there's that. And it's really all about like doing this like ray of light coming from your eye. This brush that I'm using is the Sephora Pro brush number 45. It's a concealer brush, and it's just flat, and it lays the product down really nicely. So you can see here, it's really brightened right underneath her eye and I filled it all in. So just, again, a lot more about giving a lot of coverage and adding a lot of brightness. And then I'm also actually going to place a tiny bit underneath the brow, because they were all about that too, making sure that your brow is super highlighted. So you're highlighting with a concealer here, really drawing attention and making it so it's almost like a stamp. <laughs> and then turn this way. So. What I actually really do like is Gen Z has kind of moved away from that concealer of like all over. Um, it makes it a lot easier for your mascara to stay mm -hmm. on and it just looks a little bit more fresh faced. So it's more about placing the concealer in this inner corner, just right here. And then on this outer section of your eye going upward and that's to really give like a lift to the eye. And so you're leaving this blank and I like that because it gives you that sort of like sexy, like sultry eye underneath without having to put any anything there, mm -hmm. you know? I really like this technique because it allows you to really lean into your natural tones or pigments underneath your eye. So it just gives you that like fresher faced look. Okay, so here's where I think you can really start to see the differences between Gen Z versus Millennial. Millennial is definitely all about highlighting and getting that full coverage, whereas Gen Z is a little bit more about letting your natural skin pigments show through and just about highlighting and lifting it up. All right, next up is blush. So I am going to use the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. This is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, and this shade is called Grace. So for millennials, it's a little bit more, I think, traditional. So you kind of place it right on the apples of the cheeks, and you can do this with your fingers, you could do it with a brush, you could do it with a sponge, just sort of any application that's really going to highlight the apple of the cheek the most. 
And then Gen Z, it's more about this like sun-kissed natural look. So I'm gonna have you turn, yeah, like right here, because it's more about like this, where the sun naturally hits, which is like very fresh-faced. It's like a garden party look to me. I love it. Okay, and another huge difference for millennials versus Gen Z would be powder and the use of powder. I feel like millennials really love powder. They leaned into it. They also had to set all that makeup, right? So this is going to be the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And you would see them like pack it on where it was almost like powdery. And it's much, much, much more matte. And then it was all about like sweeping it away once it had set there for a minute. And now the big difference is Gen Zers barely use any powder at all. So I would say it's just where maybe you might look the shiniest. So maybe just a little here, a little bit around the nose area. Any place that you don't wanna look sweaty, you still want your natural like glow of your skin to shine through. So I love that style. I'm so glad that we've moved to more of like a skin-like effect. All right, now that we have mattified everything, of course we have to highlight. So millennials, again, we gotta go for the highlight really strong. So I'm going to use Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette, and I'm going to use the color Star Glow. And I'm using the Pro Blush Brush number 99, and I'm using this very edge of it to really paint on that line. It was all about painting on that line, you can see. It's like not super blended. It looks so good on camera because it really catches that light. But in person, you know, you'd want things to look a little bit more blended, I feel. And they like to build that up, really get it on that high point where it's gonna shine, shine, shine. I feel like a disco ball. Right? It's so, <laughs> I mean, it does look amazing in this camera, but I will say that in life, it just looks like a stripe. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, for, Gen Z, I feel like they highlight, you know, maybe a bit above the brow. So we did that with concealer on the millennial side, but they maybe highlight a bit there. You could take your finger and a little bit of the highlighter and place it maybe on the inner corner here to add a bit of shine. But again, it's more about being natural. So really wanna make sure it's blended. And then they also sometimes hit the nose. And again, I think that just depends on what kind of nose you got. Cause if it's cute, highlight it. <laughs> All right, next up is brows. So Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Ultra Slim Precision Brow Pencil in Ebony is what I'm going to use for her millennial side. So millennials did a bit more of a polished brow. Everybody knows how this looks. So really they mapped out this top section, almost like tracing the outer edges. And here too, underneath and on top. And then you fill it in and then you kept it lighter on the inner section. So just doing like a couple of lines, but really tracing this out and making it a bit more dramatic. And some people made it even longer or more tapered to give that elongated effect to the eye. Okay, and for Gen Zers, I do feel like they switch it up and really just highlight the natural hair of their brow. So I'm going to use the Kosas Airbrow Tinted Clean Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. And this shade is in dark brown. Um, and it just really gives you extra volume to the natural brow hair that you have. How do you like to do your brows? When I was younger, I liked to do them really intense, like really thick back as was the trend, you know? Totally. And now I think I like to just fill in the sparse parts and go over it with brow gel. You have great brow hair, so Thank it you. works for you. So I think that the biggest difference is that millennials have this like really defined, elongated brow. It's very polished, definitely brushed through and all of that, but it's much more defined. And then with the Gen Z side, it's more about just thickening your natural brow hairs and filling in just where you need it, not necessarily creating an elongated brow, just keeping it more of your natural shape. All right, next is going into eyeliner. This is yet another great differentiation. So for the millennial side, I'm going to use the KVD Beauty Tattoo Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in Trooper Black. And it was all about a really sharp, pretty wing. And personally, I love a great liquid liner look. I think it's just really flattering and beautiful. So this is just a really, something that has kind of 
seen its way throughout a lot of eight generations, not just millennial. And open, gorge. All right, now let's get into Gen Z. So they also really like a lifted kind of effect. So we're going to do that cat eye look, but with a brown eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette again, and I'm going to use this color Smoke. It's just a brown eyeshadow, really nice. And I'm, I'm using the Sephora Pro Liner Brush number 22. And it's not about going all the way across the lid. It's more just on this outer corner here. And then of course on this inner corner as well. So you can see here, this is really about elongating and lifting everything up. It's a little bit more dramatic, a little more refined. And then this side is a bit more subtle. It's just about lifting the eye um, subtly using a brown shadow and also defining this inner corner a bit with some brown shadow as well. All right, now let's get into the differences between lips. So I feel like with millennials, they are much more into the mattes and long wearing products. So I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick. And this is in shade 13. I do feel like millennials really went for colors that were either a nude or more of like a natural pink, nothing too punchy in color. Um, and then when it comes to the Gen Z side, it's all about gloss. So I am using this lip brush. This is the Pro Lip Brush number 85 by Sephora Collection. It's just a really great brush for getting that precision. Do you ever wear a liquid lip? Yeah, here and there. I really like them for like more fun colors. Yes. Because they don't smudge. Exactly, when you spend the time to make it perfect, it's like you want it to last. Mm -hmm. And I tend to do things in like longer sweeps when I apply with a brush so that it doesn't end up like patchy or having like wobbly lines as much. That is very millennial, super matte, really, really long wear, and kind of like this neutrally nude. All right, and getting into the Gen Z side, they are all about super shiny gloss. So this is the Sephora Collection Glossed Lip Gloss, and this shade is number seven, Lover. It's super high shine. What I really like about this shade is it has the pink flecks in it that have a shine, um, and so it gives you that added bonus of even more shine than just a gloss would. So you can see in this millennial side, we have some nice matte full coverage lip color. And on the Gen Z side, it is more about this like high shine gloss, gloss, glossed lip. All right, this last step is very specific to Gen Z and it's all about adding freckles. So we are going to use Freck Beauty, Freck the Original Freckle. This product is just really easy to get you that extra little sun-kissed look. So focusing these dots where you would have some nice freckles, where the sun hits. I have natural freckles, so I just trace over the ones I already have. But you let them dry down a little bit. And I think the biggest thing with this is really making sure that some are bigger than others um, so that it looks more like a natural freckle. Have you ever done this? I haven't, but I've always been intrigued. It's kind of fun. It's like you do them in little clusters and some are farther apart. Like, I think that's like the biggest thing. It's almost like you have to study other people's freckles mm -hmm. to get it right, you know? They look really cute. What I also like about this product is that if you like do it right away and stamp right away, it almost gives you another stamp of a lighter freckle. So it gives you that really more natural effect. Mm -hmm. So over here we have the salty side and over here we have the sweet side. So I think the biggest difference between Millennial versus Gen Z is Millennial. It's just a bit more polished, a little more full coverage, really specific placement of sculpting and highlighting. And when it comes to Gen Z, it's more about highlighting your natural features and really letting like your skin shine through and your natural brow hairs kind of come through and all that. So what do you prefer? Do you have a style that you really like? Well, like on day to day, I definitely do prefer the Gen Z style, but mm -hmm. I love a cat eye. Right. Particularly like with like colorful liner, which I think is a little yes. more of a Gen Z trend. So I think that I kind of like to mix both. And I also love highlighter. So even if it's like striped on, totally. I do love it. I know. It just makes you like glow. It's really, yeah. I love it as well. Obviously, I do feel like there's always something new to try with makeup and I love new trends that come through. So I would love to hear what you're going to try at home. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and until next time bye everybody mm -hmm.